Hi, this is Kristen Bryant with Stamping with Kristen. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this card using the Seaside Bay stamp set, our crumb cake cards and envelopes, and then and this is the Seaside Bay dies. They are um, some really great dies. This um, shell actually has a crease in it so it folds, so um, it's kind of a fun new suite that we have in our mini catalog. To get started, I'm gonna use um, a card from our um, card and envelope from the craft cards and envelope and it even comes with a box this is such a great deal you get 20 of these um, craft note cards and envelopes plus the box for ten dollars that is such a deal they're a little bit smaller this is five inches wide um, and so it's you know it's not quite as big as the typical card I make it's five inches by three and a half but they're just a, a nice size to have actually and you could create a really nice gift for ten dollars by making somebody 20 cards I'm doing a sympathy card sympathy cards are <laughs> cards you never really <laughs> Hope to have to give away but they're really nice to have on hand when you need them and so I'm going to start um, making this card by having a little strip of crumb cake now crumb cake and craft are a little bit different but they they go well together and so I'm going to use our crumb cake ink with the stamp image of the three birds and I made this strip quite small it's a kind of an odd dimension. I did one and three eighths just because I wanted it to fit just on this little strip here so it didn't take too much of the card front. So I just adhere, uh, stamped that towards the side and then I'm going to put a little glue on here. And then ahead of time, I stamped um, the bird using early espresso and I die cut it just so I don't have to do that and I'm just going to take a little bit of the light crumb cake um we, you know the light and dark blends I'm just going to use a lighter one just to add a little color to the darker parts of this the bird here just kind of adds a little accent to it You could just, you could add as much as you wanted, but I just thought it just adds a little bit by adding a little more color to that. Now for this, I'm going to get a dimensional. I'm just going to put two on the back of the bird here. Oops. And this bird will kind of just be on the edge like that. Now at the bottom of the card, I'm gonna do the heartfelt sympathy. And for that, I'm gonna use early espresso. I'm gonna get the sympathy out here. I like to keep this edge, you know, sometimes people just throw it away. I like to keep it in here so then I know that I have all my stamps and it just kind of holds them in place. And then I'm just going to put this on here. When I'm doing greetings, I like to put them on so I know that it's straight. And then I'm gonna stamp this just in the bottom corner. I didn't finish my sentence. I like to put it on along an edge. That way I know when I'm putting it on my block that it is straight. So this is just really um, small in the corner. Then I'm gonna add a little adhesive to the back of this. Then I'm gonna finish it with some linen thread around the top. I go through lots of, tons of the linen thread. It is just such a nice um, thing to add on to cards. And I mean, it's great for cards with lots of color or a card like this that's just a little bit more neutral. You could go ahead and just make up a bunch of these and hope you don't need them. But like I said, um, as you do have a loved one, friend or family member who passes away, it is nice to have some cards on hand. When I give cards for gifts, I like to have a couple 
um, sympathy ones in there too, just so that people have them when they need them. This is not quite straight, so I'm gonna quick move it. There we go. So there we go, here's our card. And then one last thing, I always like to have a little something on the envelope. So I'm just gonna stamp the bird in the corner. So um, here you have the um, sympathy card and envelope. And again, I use the craft uh, cards and envelopes. You can find those on page 137 in our catalog. So you could uh, give a bunch of these um, as a gift and you could even put them in the um, box that comes in the set. So I hope you get time to create today and go ahead and send one of those cards out and make someone's day.